Well, so much for Minnesota's good offensive line. Big Ten Ted coming at you here today for a game recap. Minnesota falling to Illinois. I've got more thoughts on this one than I do uh, probably on that Ohio State-Nebraska pre, uh, recap. Uh, that's also on the channel. Um, Minnesota, right, comes into this game. They want to run the football. They want to protect Tanner Morgan. They didn't do any of those. They did neither of those uh, two things in Minneapolis on Saturday. Now, before I go any further on Minnesota, you got to give props to Illinois. It's their fourth win of the season. Okay, they have beaten Penn State. They've beaten Nebraska. They've beaten Minnesota. I would probably say all of those three teams that they've beaten have more talent on their roster than Illinois does. But Illinois just wins ugly. You know, a lot of teams, when you say, well, they played ugly, they win ugly, a lot of times that's not exactly a compliment. I feel like Illinois wants to play ugly. They want to get into ugly games with teams because that's the chances that they have uh, to come out with victories against some of these teams. That's how they played against Penn State. Ugly game, run the football, not much throwing, play good defense. It's exactly that was the formula against Minnesota today. They held in that running game here today. Minnesota didn't have much on the ground. And when the Gophers don't have much going on the ground and Illinois in the backfield, right, the Illini defensive line, that defensive front had six sacks on Tanner Morgan. You can't run the ball. You can't protect the passer. Those have been two things. That's been the bread and butter. That's been the cornerstone of this Minnesota offense all season long. And when you can't do that, you're going to have troubles. Now, here's the deal. Minnesota, although they lost, they still control their own destiny in the Big Ten West. They got Iowa next week. They got Wisconsin later on in the season. Minnesota didn't act, they didn't have aspirations for any top four or anything. So losing their third game of the season, uh, to be honest with you, if you look at it mathematically, doesn't do them any harm, so to speak. Um, but this is not a good performance. If you're looking at this and using it as a blueprint of what might happen with the Gophers, in the future, right? You couldn't stop the running game. Illinois did exactly what they did. Copy and paste of what they did against Penn State. Playing great defense and just running and running and running it again. And that's how Brett Bielema wins. He's a tough black and blue type of Big Ten guy. And year one, I would, you know, I'd have to maybe look at this one deeper and I might make a video on this in the future. From week, well, they played week zero. So week zero to now, Illinois might be the most improved team in the conference. You know, although they're not winning pretty, although their skill might not shine, so to speak, the games that they've won and how they've played and how they've progressed, Illinois might be the most improved team. You know, four wins already. And this has been an Illinois team that has been garbage the last few years. Brett Bielema, you know, without even having to complete one full season so far, he's already got this team and this program. Um, on the right track. But what does this mean for Minnesota? You know, Minnesota, I never, you know, I thought maybe coming into this season when they had Mo Ibrahim, they were maybe dark horse in the Big Ten West. Maybe they could get in if things fall their way. Um, I don't know if they're a great team. Uh, we saw it once again. Tanner Morgan under pressure. He's not going to have a good day. Tanner Morgan, if his offensive line creates a beautiful pocket in front of him and he's got time to throw good things, Tanner can probably make some things happen. But, you know, he got sacked six times and that doesn't even count the hurries and him scrambling out of the pocket, throwing it away, doing all that sorts of stuff. Man, that was the biggest surprise to me in this one was that offensive line at Minnesota. Now, what does it mean going forward for the Gophers? You got to play Iowa and you got to play Wisconsin. Those are two stout defenses, not only in the Big Ten, but nationally. So if you can't contain that Illinois pass rush and you can't contain that Illinois defense, what are you going to do when you face Iowa and Wisconsin. Right now, as we sit in the clubhouse, I like Wisconsin to win the West. They are the hottest team right now here towards the latter half of the season, and I love what they're doing on defense and running the football, right? That's exactly what, what Illinois did. You know, if Illinois did that to you, what is Wisconsin going to do that, right? Wisconsin's got a 200 monster running back, and they've got uh, statistically the number one defense in the nation. So, Minnesota was looking good coming off the big contract extension news. Not a good look uh, here for P.J. Fleck. But I love the way Illinois is improving this season. Want to hear your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comments below about both of these squads. Does Minnesota still have a chance to win the West after this performance? And Illinois, 
I think they're looking pretty good for the future. Once again, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to Big Ten Ted. We'll see you in the next one.